Hey guys, John Loxy here, back with our blind playthrough of Amnesia The Dark Descent. I am, I am, gotta be honest, I am enjoying this even though I complain a lot, and I don't, I don't like all of this game, to be fair, but I enjoy pieces of it, and it has its moments, you know what I mean? Like, if anything, I respect it, you know? Also, we have like two minutes before one of my cats decides to run up here and, and headbutt the microphone. Or, or something. All right, so last time we, we escaped the cell, we got up here, we found a note, and Daniel's like even worse than we thought, apparently. Uh, we can do something with this. I guess let's pull, ooh, that's, hmm. All right, are we, how insane are we? Slight headache. Well. Right, we also escaped from the shadow. It seems to be taking a more direct... Oh, see, there's some of it. More direct... Uh, uh, we're going to have to run again. More direct involvement. Oh, yeah, and we're doing the, you know, the eternal darkness, like, sideways tilt. Wait. Oh. Oh, we're here again. Maybe we can get down into the laboratory now. Right? Yep, shadow's coming up through the hole. It's weird. Why is the shadow flesh? You know? This seems like it's the only way to go also. Uh, or, or not. Uh, but we got stuff. If we can just crouch and get it. Or... Oh, come on, dude. I don't know what I touched. That's a weird... Wait, is this where we... Mmm... I don't know if this is the right way to go or not. Uh, sure. Okay. We came from that way. We tried going that way. And that way is... Wait, what is this? Just, just wood. Fair enough. You know, I, I gotta be honest, I, I do... It's stupid. It's stupid, but I do like the fact that you, like, move the levers and stuff. Like, you know, it... It's pointless, there's really no need to do it. But I like it. It makes no sense. Um, do I need to... Do I need to run and jump over this stupid thing? I bet I do. Push! Push, duck, go under. Oh, that's the wrong word. Wrong button. Wrong stupid button. Here we go. Oh, no, we probably need this. Oh, I took my, took my things away. Took my little torches away. Oh yeah, this area is infested. We need to see if we can get into the laboratory though. Also found out earlier today. Oh, uh, hmm. Well, we gotta go that way. Oh, we can! We can! Let's do this. Oh, kitties are eating. They're distracted for now. Yeah, I found out earlier today one of my buddies is, uh... One of my buddies in real life. Best friends, actually. Um, one of the three people that knows about this channel. He occasionally watches some of my stuff, so if he's watching, man, thanks, I hope you enjoy it. And, uh, yeah, he was the one that actually gave me this glass that I drink out of all the time, so that's kind of cool. I don't, I became immediately self-conscious, though, when, um, when he texted me about it. Oh, yeah, I watched some of your stuff while I'm, you know, sitting there having a cigar, and I'm just like, oh, I don't know. What to think now? <laughs> you know, because... As I gulp... Half the coffee beer... He actually sent me a really interesting, um... Um... Like, alcoholic coffee recipe. Which... Looks pretty good. It's a hot coffee recipe. 
which I didn't expect because usually you want like cold because it makes the makes the alcohol taste weird when you add it to hot coffee um but it was what is it three quarters of an ounce of Bailey's Irish cream three quarters of an ounce of Kahlua and then four ounces of hot coffee and then topped with whipped cream and I thought it was interesting because if you just add Bailey's Bailey's has like this for me at least it has this like weird artificial taste you know it tastes like it tastes like the artificial sweeteners you know what I mean um but maybe Kahlua kind of helps with that so something to try and the fact that it's hot you know I'm maybe the whipped cream also helps kind of disguise some of the the fake flavoring but but I don't know I'm, I'm curious I'm really I'm really curious I don't I don't know if I'll try it anytime soon because you need to get a bottle of Bailey's and a bottle of Kahlua those are both pretty expensive but it's not bad it's not bad especially if it's good I mean you could scale it up to if you're doing like a a 12 ounce cup right like an actual full glass or what's like a whiskey glass um I mean I guess that would be that would be 12 ounces like this is no this is 12 so a whiskey glass would probably be like eight you could do like six ounces of coffee and Actually, six ounces is a, is a normal cup. So yeah, all right. Anyway, ignore my rambling for the moment. Oh my god, yeah. He's got to put up with me. <laughs> Not just in real life, he's got to put up with me on the internet too. Oh, what a champ, you know? Like, <laughs> No, he's a cool guy. He's... Uh, we were army buddies for a while. Um, yeah, he's a he's a real good guy. Uh, yeah, and just shit, the fact that he puts up with me should tell you everything you need to know. All right, so. Um, I don't really. OK, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this, if anything. We have to somehow purify. Damn, it's eight o'clock already. What's the deal with that? Okay, tinderbox. Oh, can we get this? Oh, it's a test tube. Well, we we need, I don't know what we need. Yes, this is what we need. Okay. Okay, and then so we purify that. That does some stuff. And then what? Do we turn it off? Incomplete tonic. That's a start. Gotta do something with this. Ah! Oh, Alright, open this. Okay. The tonic is not yet done according to Vire's instructions. Well, can we add... Can't add ingredients as is. It needs to be purified first. Well, we... Okay, well, let's... Do we... No. Yes! All right, so then presumably we put the tonic... Here? All right. Do we add... This also? Heating the gland will not extract the poison. All right. Did it just pop open? I guess so. Incomplete tonic. Well, let's try... It needs to be purified. All right, there's got to be something else in here that we can use. Oh! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, right, you crush it. All right, so you take this, put it underneath. No, I'm, what? 
Right. That's I knew this. Gland does not fit. The crank needs to be turned back. I was trying to do this. Wait. Oh, wait. Am I, am I not doing this appropriately? See, it looks... Oh. Okay. It doesn't look like it fits under there at all. Anyway, whatever. Alright, that looks good. Vires Tonic. Yay. Was that there a second ago? I mean, I think it was there before... Whatever. Anyway. All right, so, right, we have the tonic now. The tonics are completed according to virus instructions. I don't know what we need. See, this is weird, right? What do we need the tar and the cell iron bar for? Don't worry about it, just keep going. Just. I saw him lost. The castle crumbled and I could feel the chancel collapse. The laboratory might be accessible now. It is. Yep, you're right. All right. Ow. I don't know what the deal with that is, but do I use the tonic on him? I guess so. Quickly, off with the head. And then, whatever happens, get me through that gate. I pick up his head? Off with the head? You're a good boy, Dad. And I appreciate you, Kanka. But I believe you have more important things to take care of. Um... What do you... Is is that it? I gave him the thing and, and now what? Hurry, no time for sitting around. Wait, what's in here? You're a good boy, Dad. And I appreciate you, Oh my Kanka. god. But I believe you have more important things. Okay, what's down. what's through this? I'm crouching. I'm hoping that's proper. What uh where is this? What is this? Where am I? Oh, bone saw. Okay. It won't budge. Cool. Right, bone saw. Set off with the head. I was like, crap, am I do I You should hurry, Daniel. No time for sitting around. You know so they talked about crouch jumping. I, I vaguely remember watching a like this is how you don't play video, because Dark Side Phil. Um, but apparently that, like, crouch jumping was something that was really, now that I'm thinking about it, it was very, um, like, Half-Life 2 age, right? Like, that specific kind of time frame and genre and stuff. Because you had to be able to jump and then shrink yourself, and so that's what they did. They're like, oh, you jump and you crouch in midair, and it's like, oh, okay, that makes sense. But it's, it's dumb from a, you know, normal human thinking perspective, but it's... I feel like I never... Man, I didn't play a lot of Duke Nukem 3D, but I feel like that was used around that time as well. So maybe from like Duke Nukem 3D up until Half-Life 2 and a little bit after was when... I mean, but then again, maybe it's like first-person shooters? Like old-school first-person shooters? I don't, I don't know, man. A surgeon saw used for amputation. Yeah. So I, you know, I mean... I, maybe I should have known about the crouch jumping thing, but, but I think you're supposed to use the iron bar to break the wall and I I didn't think of that I was like you of course you go out through the gap I mean you know you just crawl through it like a normal human being and we're taking his head with us a 
Agrippa's head. The severed head of Agrippa. He's still alive. So we... We pick it up and throw it through the gate? Is that what we have to do? Oh, well. Oh, no. Douse it. Man, the shadow's mad. All his life, he had thought he was a good man. Terrible deeds were only committed by terrible people like Henry Bedlow, the bully in school. But now he had seen what he himself could do. Yep. So, are they going to send the monsters at us again? Also, the whole, like, good people finding out they're really evil. I was re-watching... I was watching The NeverEnding Story again. Um, and the Magic Mirror Gate, one of the three gates you need to get to see the Southern Oracle. Uh, it reveals who you really are inside. And the the old man that's telling Atreyu about it, he's like, you know, it's, it's even worse than just getting blasted, right? Um, or, or, well confidence right if you believe in yourself then the f the sphinxes will let you pass the first gate uh but the second gate it shows you what who you really are inside which is kind of like the sword of shinara that was the sword of shinara's power uh it, it tells you as a person who you really are and it forces you to look and so you know that was his thing he's like kind people find out they're actually cruel which kind of makes sense given the state of the world today, right? Uh, but, uh, but yeah, yeah, that's, I think that's how it is. It just reminds me of that. Maybe it's, I mean, whatever. Just whatever. I don't know. Oh man, dude, I had... We had this one patient, and uh, we get called in emergently and, you know, save his life, basically. What is, why is my mouse jumping all over? Is it because of Jack's hair? Maybe. And then one of the doctors brings him back for more work a couple days later. And uh, they're like, oh yeah, he's got lice and fleas, and I'm just like... Would have been nice to know a couple days ago <laughs> when I was all over him without, you know, but I mean, you had to save his life. So it's like, okay. I just wish I'd known is the thing. All right, let's see if there's a. Uh... So if Alexander is controlling. Huh. Alright. Um, I think to the right was just an empty chamber. Or nothing. So if you didn't get what was in there the first time, you were basically screwed. You know, I'm not sure it matters because there was, there was like... Oh god! We gotta go. Oh come on! Oh, dicks. Maybe that'll stop the monster. Oh! <sighs> you have to carry on. Thanks for nothing. Why is... I mean... Oh, whatever. I mean, I guess I could go... So is, the, is that one door? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Wait. Oh, come on! Pesto, yeah, I know. An adhesive? But you didn't need it, I thought.
Achievement unlocked, restore. Well, it's time to go. Let's go. Oh, wait, what? What I clicked, did I? What's, uh? All right, do I go in? Oh, come on, dude. M. The orb does not by itself remove the barrier. Something must be done with the machinery. Well. Hey, buddy. Well. It's kind of bullshit that it, like, restarts you with the monster, like, coming right at you. You know what I mean? Like, why... All right, something must be done with the machinery. What what does that mean? You throw Agrippa's head in? No. Or... I guess we could try it. Can I use the item this way? I don't understand. The wound is bleeding quite badly. Well, whatever. What? You have to smash the orb? Am I... Uh, I, don't, I don't... I don't know. Great. Freaking wonderful. I, I don't know, dude. All right. All right, we assembled the orb. G great. Oh, you gotta do something with the orb. What do I do? Use a grip his head on it? Wait. What do you mean with the machinery? What am I? This is, this is what I mean. This is what I mean. Good. Wait, am I not dead? I'm crawling? Really? You've got to be kidding me. Oh my god, I hate this game so much. Like, I... I, I don't actually, but it's just, it's shit like this. It's like, what am I supposed to do? Something must be done with the machinery. What? I just spent the last like three hours looking for the freaking orb, orb shards and then putting them together and, and this and this and that. Like what, a, what? A... Oh, you've got to be freaking kidding me. I need to go to where the monster is, don't I? I was gonna sit, sit here and pull up the freaking now, now is where you go to where the monster was, and that's where the levers are, and then you need to... Because this thing's not broken, you notice that, right? So, like... Is the monster in there? Still? Again? Am I supposed to sneak... Am I supposed to sneak by it? You could stare at it now, apparently. I'm irritated, because it's like... What do you what do you do with the machinery? Oh, there's no time. There's no time to do. What is this? What is this? 1839. Is this here before? I believe no. I have become. One of the girls escaped and I chased after her all the way upstairs. I hunted her down and what is her life worth? How many lives can I take before I surrender my own? Sure I would kill a murderer to save an innocent. But to kill an innocent, to save myself, a cold-blooded murderer. So presumably that's why. No you shouldn't do that. That's why Dane. Oh, the door's open now. That's why Daniel took the amnesia thing. I guess. That's a lot of oil. What must be done with the machinery? K 
Okay. Okay. It is not large enough to jam the cogwheels. I, I can't pick that up this time? Really? Alright, so we do have to jam the cogwheels, but with, with what? Fair enough. Uh, oh, the iron bar, of course. I don't want to do that. Um... What am I... What am I missing here? Okay. Can I grab one of these rocks? I guess. Or maybe the... I doubt this will work, but we'll try it. I'm just... It, it, this is one of those things where I'm like, come on, man. Oh, but... Okay, so it worked, but it, it hurt you. I guess. Alright, so you, you... You gotta go. So the whole point was you stop the mechanism from spinning. I guess that makes sense. Is the... Come on, dude! <laughs> See, this is what I mean. You put a monster in between me and the, the thing, there's nowhere for me to go. Why would you do that? What? I mean, I understand. From a, from a story perspective, it makes sense. Because, you know, Alexander wants to stop you, of course, right? Oh, you know. Oh, dang. Oh. You know what? Screw you. I'm running. Like, it, it makes sense, but, but it's like, I thought you wanted these monsters to be scary. You give me a gun, I'll take one of them out, or something, you know? Let me throw rocks at them, or something. Just, uh, do I need to click on this thing? I, there we go, it was right next to me, too. Alexander saw the evening had taken a toll on his friend's mind and barred him from the inner sanctum. He could no longer be trusted to be a part of the ritual. Yep. Do we have to do with this deal with this crap again? I'm like, okay, well, barely conscious, slight headache. Ah, uh, we'll use a couple. There we go. What's going on now? Don't don't even tell me there's a freaking boss fight. What what is this really? There's more. Door will not open. Door will not open. Door will not open. So what do these what does this switch do? Oh, really? The heavy door sealed shut, shield shut. Search for a way to... Oh. Run? You've got to be freaking kidding me. Really? This is what we're going to do now? You go from a... S not stealth... Alright, which... Really? Okay, wait, what am I... It forced me to turn and look at this. 19th of August, 1839. It's not fair. I'm not to blame. I've been manipulated by that demon. He played my guilty conscience and duped me into facing the shadow alone. 
That vile, conspiring man. He expects me to meet my death as he steals power beyond imagination? Alexander, I will kill you for what you have done. If only the Shadow had caught me in London or Algeria, I wouldn't have to suffer this humiliation. You made me a murderer. A monster! And now, I merely await my death. I am too weak to press on. I can hardly stand as my knees fail me. I cannot see as my eyes are dressed in tears. I am as broken as the men I've tortured. If only I could wipe my fear away as we did with them. I... What What was the point of me coming in here? Is, is that it? I'm supposed to... Okay, then what? Oh, come on, dude. Wait, what the hell? What's... What got me? I, I don't know, but I, I will say... <laughs> it's kind of funny, I thought of the Phantom Menace, because it's like... It's like, run, but then you go and you read Daniel's stuff and you're supposed to, like, kind of sympathize or empathize with him, and I'm like, what... What emotion am I supposed to be feeling now? Because this doesn't... It doesn't really work for me. I'm mostly feeling... Irritation. Like... You know, like... Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm sorry if this is your... If this if you love this game, then... I, I don't. I'm sorry, there's... There's a lot I do like about it. What What is hitting me here? Do I pull the lever again? What do I do here? No, I guess not. Do I... Door will not open. Were there switches I missed? Like, what is hitting me? Is there something above me? See, I figured, you know, you put the lights out. Why would I relight the candles? You know what I'm saying? Oh, and they're all like... Oh, is... I was supposed to stand on this thing, I guess? Is it gonna whack? Come on, what... What hit... What is going on? What is going... Is it the darkness itself? And it's moving my camera all around. Is there something here? Jesus Christ. All right, maybe it's like a... What am I supposed to do here? This is... Uh, and then it moves your freaking camera. What is going on? Did I click on it? I, okay, I clicked on it again. Is... Like, come, come on, dude. What is... The heavy door will not open. Why? What the hell is hurting me? Do I need to extinguish all the candles? Is that what the deal is? Okay, that didn't help. What... Do I need to hit this one again? I guess? Is it open now? No. Okay, I'm getting hit by being out here, but why? Okay, you hit the switch to open the door. The door on the left, not this door. Then you go in there, you blow out the candles, come in there, and then you, you hit... That's freaking fantastic. Do... What? Is it all supposed to be totally dark? Do I need to put these out somehow? The heavy door will not open. Okay, well, let's try leaving. You cannot leave. Then what?
I'm irritated. Freaking irritated, dude. All right, let me pull the puzzle guide. Skip the cell. Start running, don't look back. Use the rusty key, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, where? Go inside the laboratory. The grip is tonic solution. Wait. Okay. Assembling the orb. Three interconnected br bridges. Earlier part of the gate, blah, 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 blah. I don't. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Weaken magical barrier, but it's still there if you hurt it. Orb receptacle. Okay, facing Alexander, inner san sanctum. Pull the lever on your left. No sanctum on the left side. Go open, go through it. Run your table is a note. Left is a weird circle on the ground. Right is an altar. Read the note on the table. Press is anger. Uh, turn to the right. Touch the pointy altar thing and lights will die. Turn around and go to the weird circle. Two candles beside it will die. Stand near the center of the circle. Wait, what? Go to the wall with the weird circle. The two candles beside it will die. Stand near the center of the circle. Light up both candles again. Be fast, because the candles will be blown out in a matter of moments if you don't do this. Exit the room and head straight to the next room in front of you. Touch the altar light, prick you. Stand on this weird circle. Light them up fast. How do you know you're supposed to do this, though? The entire area was thought to be filled with red organic matter. I guess the room looked to the right. Suddenly, big door is now open. Go through it. You're freaking kidding me, right? Barely conscious, that's cool. So, come on. All right, so I, what if you don't have enough? Why? Great, thank you. That's fantastic. Am I dead? Why am I dead? Or maybe I'll get back up here in a second. All right, I'm supposed to light those candles after blowing out them out. Oh, there's the goo. All right, fair enough, I guess. What if you don't have any more tinder boxes? Then that's it, you lose. He had turned angry. It was easy to take her insolence and make her the villain in the story, but she didn't deserve to die. Even he could see that. I just don't care at this point. I'm sorry. I was wondering if you were going to show up. I see a gripper convinced you to run some errands. Tell me. Is everything nice and clear now? Am I the villain? Good and evil. Such comforting concepts, but hardly applicable. Are you so blind that you see no good in me or evil in Agrippa? What now? Where's this gate? Oh, it's... Is that the shadow stuff? Well, there's... Okay, what now? We're supposed to wait for something to happen? Oh, well, yeah, don't walk into the fire. I was trying to walk this way. Okay, don't touch it either. Do I do something? Do I move this? Pylon is on stable and on the verge of falling over. Well, let's, uh... Can I use the item this way? Can I? We need to let him open the gate, right? You're, that's the goal.
Or what do I, uh... What does that even mean? Stop it, Henry. You are ruining it. We are so close, I beg you. I'm just like you, Daniel. A prisoner of circumstance. Trapped in a world I no longer recognize. As you gain your freedom, will you deny me mine? We are so close. Closer than I've been for centuries. Yeah, it's, it's weird, right? So he's not even attacking. I'm just going in and I'm messing up some stuff. Can I... Can I use the head on this fire or something? You said let him open the gate. Am I supposed to just sit here? Also, oh, there we go. Alright, well, let me use Agrippa's head on this. I mean, well, hello, Jack. I wonder if there's, like, uh, an achievement for just waiting a bit longer and letting him succeed. I suspect there is, but let's, uh... The portal will be open very soon. Did I... Oh, it's not open yet, though. Well, that's not nice. So he was. So Daniel maybe is right then. No, you fool! You have ruined us. Benefactor. I'm not sure how that did that. Oh, or I'm dead anyway. So presumably only the portals for one. Okay. Jack, I see you. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, the mouse is still active. Oh, can I move? Let's find out. You're in the way, Jack, baby. I want you to know this. I can move. What are. Okay, so what are these red petals or. There he is. Do you see him, Vaya? He deserves so much more. Who? Me? Daniel? You see him via. Am I? Don't don't you go? You just chill here, Jack. Please help him. I know you can. You're a cat. You can, Jack, baby. Still walking forward, I think. Don't worry, Daniel. It will be all right. Fair enough. Are you gonna lay down, Jack? You're so cute. Is that it? <clears throat> um... Okay, so I guess that's one ending. Bene it was like Benefactor or something. You put Agrippa through, and potentially you die, and then but Bavire saves you or something, right? Um, and then presumably another ending is... Well, I mean, we'll try it. We'll continue, right? I don't know where it'll continue. We just wait for the portal to open, and then wait for what's-his-face to go through it, and then see what happens. 
let's let me pull up the the guide because it talks about I think it said it would talk about multiple endings or maybe that was the IGN one okay big door orb chamber medium sized circular room three pylons channel magic well, in the center is a portal. Far into the chamber is the old and naked Alexander, floating in the air as he is protected by blue magical flames. Now is the time for you to decide which endings you'd like to see. There are three endings. Just follow the specific steps to see the ending that you like. Uh, okay, push the pylon, push the one on the left. Uh, go to the last remaining pylon. It should be shooting magic, grab and push. Watch this poor Alexander's plans are crushed and he gets annihilated. Finish one of the most horrifying games in gaming history. <sighs> I don't know, honestly. It's... There's, there's a lot of things it does do right, but it does a lot of things that steal the tension right like oh a monster oh a monster put on a freaking walkway between you and the end when you have to walk back and forth and it kills you great freaking great you know what i mean oh you know it's like it's this build up oh but you're dead the end yeah that's great odn 314 sure so i guess you push him over and that's one end or destroy all the pylons then what bad ending do nothing. Oh, I was thinking about, um... The quitter ending, like the... Let the shadow consume you or whatever, so... Yeah, it's probably... Knock over all the pylons, that's the, the normal ending. Put the head in the portal, that's the good one. And then, do nothing, and that's the bad. Yep. After a few minutes... This ending sucks, you have finished one of the most horrifying games, and then it was the last one. Wait for the portal to be fully open, use your use to grip his head, and gaming history with the best possible ending. Great. Well, let's, I mean, we have, you know, like 10 minutes. We may as well. We'll do the, we'll, we'll just wait. What's up? I was wondering if you were going to show up. Yeah? I see Agrippa convinced you to run some errands. Tell me, is everything nice and clear now? Am I the villain? Good and evil. Such comforting concepts, but hardly applicable. Are you so blind that you see no good in me or evil in Agrippa? You know, the other, the other thing, um, uh, oh, I see, um, someone, it, it was in, uh, Stranger in a Strange Land, the book, and it was basically the concept of people that legitimately actually believe in the concept of a soul have no problem killing you because you're not dying. Your soul will still live on, right? It's just your body that's dying. And so, like, like what he, you know, he's like good and evil, blah, blah, blah. If he, I mean, people, if they believe in actual souls, if he knows that souls exist, he's like, I'm just destroying their physical shell. They'll still live. I'm not actually killing anybody. You know, it's like, sure, if they're horrible people, then... They go to hell, maybe, or something. I don't know. But it's it's an interesting concept, right? It's like, why... If you believe in that people actually have souls, why not... What's the problem with killing people? Right? It's kind of interesting from the, uh... You know, Christianity perspective. Although, to be fair, the Old Testament... Uh, apparently, there was no concept of hell. Oh, and the rocks are moving faster now. Or some of them. A whole other world. Oh, isn't it beautiful? I can finally return home. 
All right. Demon lock sacrifice. Oh, yep. You had to use Agrippa's head fast. Please let me go. Well, that's bad. Oh. Oh, that's a skull. At least I think it's a skull. It's hard to. Well, I guess we're probably going to take... Oh, am I not taking... Oh, no, I'm dead now. Okay. Would there have been... If Daniel kept... Thank you, my friend. Your sacrifice won't be forgotten. You will be celebrated forever. That's right, Jake Bubba. Um, I mean, that's a great question. You know, Alexander would... Uh, I mean, is it possible for Daniel to have, you know, cleansed himself of the shadow if he had completed the ritual? I don't know. Let's, let's see if we can click. We can. Okay, good. The end. Tier 299. One more. Yeah, I, you know. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I'm just not a great. There's a lot of really. Oh, yeah, we got to move. We got to move it. I was wondering if you were going to show up. I see a crypto. Don't do that. Okay, we got it. Can we run a little bit? Yeah, kind of slow. That's fine. We are so close, I beg you. We? You mean you? Maybe I'm saving my I'm just. Yep. You killed us. You killed us both. That's okay. Survivor. So presumably, yeah, same ending, except we don't save Agrippa. So we're dead, basically, as well. It was my greatest triumph. Maybe. And I never looked back. Except I'm trying to look back, and there's just darkness that way. So, oh, crap. Was I supposed to walk out? You think I was afraid of fleeing Brennenberg? Huh. Quite the contrary. Do I walk? It doesn't matter, I don't think. I knew it was my purgatory. Hellfire made to wash away my sins. Hmm. There's no denying the things I've done. But I have paid my tribute. I gave them that awful man. I did the right thing. Did you? <sighs> hmm, excuse me. All right, well. I, I don't know. 2018. When was this released again? I thought it was before that. Maybe this was patched? To update the credits? That would be weird. Because I thought this was 2014. Well, I mean, whatever, I guess. Um... I'm gonna, it's it's one of those things I'm gonna be honest it's 
I, I really wanted like a horror game and the, the problem is they had suit so if there's like story and atmosphere and and other things um and I feel like I really feel like they started with like a walking simulator and then they were like, well, but we need to have them do more stuff. It's too slow or, or it's too boring or something like that. You know, they need more stuff to do, right? Which is fine, but I feel like maybe they should have put more story in or something, you know? So... But honestly, I think, like... Uh, I don't know, man. You had, like, running sections. You had... Stealth kind of sections. You had... Uh, it's It's just, like... I don't know. It didn't it didn't feel like the tone LKE two seven one. It didn't feel like the tone was really consistent throughout, and that I think is a problem. Um I I mean I realize a lot of people love this game. I'm sure they do. I kinda didn't. You know. Um I I have respect for it. I appreciate what it was doing. And I like many aspects. I was going to say certain aspects, but many aspects of it. Um, but maybe playing the game is what I liked the least about it, which is kind of sucks to say, but that's how I felt. You know, it's. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but that is it for today. That's all. Um, yeah, I, yeah, sorry to end it on a down note. I mean, that just, it sucks. I was really hoping to enjoy it. And like I said, I did enjoy some aspects, but just, I, you know, when I'm, when I'm just like, what do I do here? You know, that sucks. I don't like that. And then it's like, well... You know, I need to, you know, like, like the ending, man, you, you put a freaking monster in there, like, right. And there's one path, there's one path. And it's like, you put a monster in there. And I'm like, why would you do that? You know, cause you want to feel the whole point. It, it's, it's very, it's like Subnautica. It's window dressing. It's the simulation of being scared. You do not want, it's an illusion. You do not want to break that. It's, it's very delicate. You know, you need to give the player the illusion that there's danger, but you don't want there to be actual danger. You know, putting the monster right there when I have one way to go is, you know, I'm like, okay, I'm dead, I guess, you know, it's like, why would you, it's like, oh, you need to shut the machine off somewhere. I'm like, so I, I run back that way and there's a monster there and I get killed and then I redo it and the monster spawns in a different place. I guess. That's good gameplay. I, well, hey, Jack, you're a baby. You're a bubba. Can I pick you up and hug you? His foot creaked earlier today. That means both my cats are creaky. Oh, no. Oh, no. Stop squirming. You're my baby. You're my baby. Anyway, go. Anyway, guys, that's that's it. Um, thank you guys so much for your time and attention. Really do appreciate it. Really hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. You know, it, it... I'm glad I played the game. I enjoyed the story and the atmosphere. Um, but, yeah, just... There's there's a lot of things I don't like about it, and ultimately, ultimately I probably wouldn't recommend it, and that sucks to say. But 
maybe watch i mean if, if you know if i was gonna talk about it i'd maybe be like okay watch someone else play it don't play it yourself don't spend the money sorry you know <sighs> sad to say but that's kind of how i feel so um you know, questions, comments, concerns, good, bad, or indifferent, let me hear them. I do read all of them, provided YouTube doesn't delete them and bitch who tells me. Um, I do respond to all of them, though it usually takes me a few days. And, um, yeah. What's your guys' unique puzzle moment for today? For me, it's actually this game, even though, you know, like I said, I probably wouldn't recommend it. Um, I, I mean, okay, let me, let me dial that back just a little bit. I would recommend it on the, as in, it's an experience. It is an experience and it's unique. Um, you know, and it's, it's like trying something, you know? It's like, should I play this game? Why not? Try it, see if you like it, you know what I mean? Uh, but would I recommend it in general? No. So, I mean, that said, it's still just playing this game, knocking it out of my, uh, out of my backlog. That's fine. And like I said, it, it, there are still parts that I like, so, um, but that's my unique puzzle moment. Hopefully you guys are just as good, if not better, hopefully better, of course. And I do hope to see you guys next time. Don't know what I'm playing next, honestly, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, but until then, take care.